All right, man. Apparently, they had somewhat of a battle royal on social media yesterday between Devin Haney and Shakira Stevenson and Regis Progress. Shakira Stevenson, I'm explaining that in another video about what they're doing to Devin Haney and why they're doing it to Devin Haney about him going out here ordering, um, ordering fights or whatever. So, um, so for the most part, you know, if you, I'm pretty sure we all heard that Shakira Stevenson is uh, got the WCWO to order, trying to make him the mandatory for Devin Haney, which, like I said before, all that got to do with politics. Trust me, all that had to do with politics. If Devin Haney, and tell me when I'm lying, if Devin Haney was going to, uh, damn that. If Devin Haney uh, was going to uh, rematch Lomachenko, would none of that shit be ordered? Now, tell me when I'm lying. Somebody said, oh, you capping for Devin Haney. I'm not capping. I'm just calling the spade a spade. If Devin Haney was committed to fighting, this neck getting on my nerves. If he was committed to fighting Devin Haney, right? I mean, he was committed to fight Lomachenko in a rematch. Would they be ordering all these fights for Shakir Stevenson? All these mandatories. No, he would not be. They would not be ordering mandatories for Shakira Stevenson. Let's call it what it is. Let's call it spade a spade. This is this is this is about having the power of the machine behind you and Bob Aaron. All this is is, is is relationships and cash for play. And I'm going to talk about that later in another video or I don't know when it's going to come up. Sometimes it gets shuffled. All this is is cash for play. If Devin committed to fighting Lomachenko, when none of this shit be ordered. When none of this be ordered, if Devin committed to fighting Lomachenko. And stop me when I'm lying. So security man Stevenson managers not formally contact the WBO requested that they make secure the WBO challenger for Devin Haney's lightweight title after being confirmed as the WC mandatory. So what that got to, I don't understand it. Why you all this for clout? Because he don't have no buzz. Devin got all the juice. You know, nobody mentioned Shakira Stevenson unless Devin Haney name mentioned. Let's keep it real. Devin got the juice. You know, to be honest, Shakira Stevenson is probably the better fighter right now. But Devin got the juice. Don't know Shakira. Don't nobody know who Shakira is for real. At this point, this is why Isai Cruz came out and said that you know I'm he ain't nobody, and I'm not saying that because I'm a Shakira Stevenson fan. I'm just keeping it real. Now, when Shakir Stevenson get in a position, when Shakir Stevenson get in that position to be the man, right? Then everybody, then he gonna be worth something. But right now, Shakir Stevenson is not worth it. He too good to fight for 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 pennies on a dollar. Yeah, he sell out. He sell good at home, but where else is where where else is he fruitful at? Nowhere. You know, and I know he was the previous champion at the previous weight class, but guess what? Yeah, obviously, he wasn't because he got stripped. So he wasn't a champion moving up to 135. He was stripped of his titles. So how he fight, you know, Hibachi Rice guy and then fuck around and be the mandatory. It's all cash for play, and I keep telling y'all that. Not to get too much in the zoo and Charlo video I got coming up, but it's all cash for play, and that's what I'm trying to point out to y'all with Dev Haney and them. That's why you got the machine. This is why you had a machine behind you. This is why you signed with Top Rank. This is why you signed with PBC, because it's all cash for play. It's all you scratch my back, I scratch your back. That's the play. That's the play. And I be trying to explain that to you. It ain't nothing to do with Shakir Stevenson. Shakir Stevenson doing his job. But if Devin Haney committed to fighting another Top Rank fighter, he'd be afforded all the time in the world. And I said this. Months ago, I said this before he fought Lomachenko that the word on the street, I got it from a good source that he was going back to he was going back and it wasn't Bill. He was going back to to, to, to the zone and Bob know that. So he Bob wanted to take them bells back with him to the zone. He said, you ain't going to gonna go fight uh, Javante Davis or you're not going to defend them bells versus nobody else. And at the end of the day, you know, on Devin Haney part, this could have been avoided. 
this this could have been avoided. This could have been avoided. This simply could have been avoided by just dropping the belts. You know, yeah, Canelo is afforded to hold the belts, not to get too much away from my, my other video. Yeah, Canelo get to hold the belts and he get to do this, that, and the third and blah, say, blah, blah, say, blah, but you ain't Canelo. <laughs> Let's call a spade a spade. You ain't Canelo. So you ain't, you, 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 you can't be afforded that luxury. And you don't have a Bob Aaron, you don't have a Bob Aaron behind you. So you ain't got a blue check mark on Instagram. And part of the reason they don't like Devin Haney, um, part of the reason they don't like Devin Haney is because he Muslim. Because I seen that with, with Arthur Better B. If I could put my finger on it. Because they sit there and they kiss, you know, Lomachenko ass. They sit there and they kiss uh, 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 Beeble's ass. They sit there and they kiss Golovkin ass, right? Tell me I'm wrong. So it ain't got nothing to do with no Russian war. The average American don't give a fuck, especially the average boxing fan. Let's call it what it is. I think, think it got a lot to do with Devin Haney doing the Roy Jones, going to be going, going to be an entrepreneur. Somebody was telling me, well, you know, that was their choice. Hey, what's wrong with going to control your own destiny? Yeah, some pros that come with it and some cons to come with it. The pros is I can go wherever the fuck I want to go and fight who I want to fight. The cons is I don't have a machine behind me uh, to be with the sanctions belt bodies. And that's why I keep telling y'all they need a, a, a international this shit. They need a they need a United States governing uh, governing body, and they need an international governing body. And the fighters need to get together, and they need to push for that because this shit wouldn't happen. It's too much corruption going on. It's too much cash for pay. This shit is illegal. And I'm not just saying this because of Devin Haney. Canelo Alvarez, all this shit. There's no consistency across the board. Gervonta can, can be the Reggie champion forever. Right? He can be the Reggie champion forever. And won't nobody say nothing about him holding that Reggie belt and refusing to fight Devin Haney. He won't a soul say nothing. But soon as Secure Stevenson... And Bob Aram sent a couple dollars allegedly over to these sanction belt bodies to order him to fight then Devin Haney to duck. Like I continue to say, bro, um, Devin Haney just on that list. And that's just something that he's going to have to deal with. He vilified. And if that's because of his religion, and I heard some people in Philly don't like him because he do some non-Muslim things. They don't think he a real Muslim. I don't know nothing about that. I knew some Muslims. Um, not into religion like that. Um, but hey, it is what it is. I can't speak on that. But um, I'll tell you this one thing about black people, they're gonna find any reason not any reason not to like you. I tell you that shit right now. It's conditioning. They're gonna find any reason to nitpick, any any reason, any reason to expose you instead of finding a reason to beat our brother. They're going to find a reason um, not to beat our brother. That's just real. Real shit. They sit here and jump on Lomachenko, dick. You know, then they'll jump on Lomachenko, dick, against Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson ain't got, never got this, this much push push before all they always do is bring up him punching that girl in miami and niggas make mistakes you know and he know Devin not coming back down but they don't rush canelo to drop this belt they don't rush tank to drop the reggie belt they don't drop russian jamal to drop his belt has some consistency across the board but regis say either Devin staying here getting out boxed by shakur coming up to fight me and getting his teeth knocked out, stuck between the rock and the hard place. And at the end of the day, he could be right. But then again, how's he stuck? He can go do what the fuck he want to do. If he want, if he want to drop them two belts and, and, and go fight somebody else, he can. If he want to move up, 
and become the rolling mandatory tour Harry Davies? He can. If he want to go for the IBF and fight Sabriel Matias, which I wouldn't recommend that one, he can. If a nigga want to jump up to welterweight and fight one of the dudes at welterweight, guess what? He can. So it it you know it really don't matter. It really don't matter. So he he not stuck between shit. He don't have to fight Regis Progress. He don't have to fight Shakur Stevenson. So, you know, um, I don't. Then he say October. He said, yo, Eddie Hearn, I'm fighting the real Devin Haney November what? He said, October. Then he talked, he turned around and said, well, I'm going to be out. No, nah, you must have heard I'll be out the country for a month. So I don't know what's going on. He he said, you know, he he said, you get off secure nuts, I'll get secure nuts out your mouth. I know he beat the shit out of you. We laughed about how sorry you was afterwards. Damn. Then he said, after I hit you with these eight ounce gloves, we're going to see who nuts and who mouth. You know, so at the end of the day, dude, I told y'all he going back to match room. So, and Bob Aram knew that. So Bob Aram trying to get them titles. But you know what's so funny about it? When Shakur get them titles, let's see if Shakur put the pressure on the white boy like he's putting the pressure on Devin Haney. Let's see that. I was, uh, watch what I tell y'all. Watch how niggas act. I'm telling you, dude. I would watch, watch. When Lomachenko openly ducked him on Twitter, he's okay, champ. I love you too, nigga. Like I told y'all, man. Just be watching, dude. Watch these ninjas, bro. But hey, it is what it is. Check the box news playlist out. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop a video financially. You want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Limo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Limo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know in the comment section. Peace.